the first episode of a Spotify podcast, Meghan Markle revealed that her son Archie narrowly escaped a fire in his bedroom. Meghan has drawn criticism for sharing the story on her podcast. A royal commentator observed that Meghan parried the question when Williams asked her, why didn't you take him with you? The commentator, known popularly as According to Taze, wrote, Did anyone notice when Meghan told Serena the dramatic fire in the nursery story when she was forced to go to the next engagement? Serena asks her on the podcast, why didn't you take him with you? And Meghan completely ignores her. Radio silence, then starts talking about optics. Meghan praised her little boy's then nanny, Lauren, a local Zimbabwean who instinctively tied him to her back with a mud cloth before the fire broke out. While Nanny Lauren appeared to be a good match for the hands-on family, their biography, Finding Freedom, co-authored by journalists Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand, claimed they let go of one of Archie's night nurses during her second shift for being unprofessional. Others are understood to recall the incident which took place on September the 23rd, 2019. And while they do not remember there actually being a fire, the heater was certainly smoking and was unplugged and dealt with. Despite the upset, Megan said in the Spotify podcast release yesterday that she was obliged to continue with official engagements, accusing those running the tour of concentrating on how it looks instead of how it feels. Sources have defended the Duchess over the incident, saying it would have understandably caused concern to any parent. The Sussexes were subsequently moved to different accommodation as the tour continued. There would undoubtedly have been an expectation for Harry and Meghan to go on with their engagements after months of planning on the ground, but as senior royals, the couple would have had the final say on continuing, and one source told the Daily Telegraph that any announcement about Archie being at risk of fire or having to cancel an event where they spoke to people about apartheid would have overshadowed the couple's work. Later that same day, following the incident, the couple visited Cape Town's historic District 6 neighbourhood, met residents in its homecoming centre, and heard from people who had forcibly removed to a township during the apartheid era, with the Sussexes also carrying out an impromptu walkabout. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams told, Meghan and Harry's visit to District 6, where they saw the museum which honoured those who were forcibly removed by the government in 1966, and went on an impromptu walkabout, was considered success at the time. They met some of those who were affected by the removal policy and their visit was an important event on their official tour to South Africa. It was undoubtedly scary for them when they heard that Archie had been at risk in a fire. Most fortunately, he had not been in the room at the time. His nanny had taken him with her when she left to have a snack. Since, fortunately, no one has been hurt and although it must have been highly upsetting, there was surely no alternative but to continue with the itinerary of their tour. It would have been so disappointing to so many if they had not. It was in Tom Bradby's subsequent ITV documentary of what had been considered a highly successful tour that the world learnt how deeply unhappy the Sussexes were in the royal life.